long journey of almost 125 days. So let us wish all the very best to Aditya spacecraft for its long journey and being put around the HAL orbit of L1. So with me, the mission executives are there. Uh, Mr. Biju, the mission director, and Nigar Shaji, the director of the satellite project. project. So let them join me. Our Honorable Minister of State for Science, Technology and Space is here, Dr. Jitendra Singh, so I request him to speak a few words. Congratulations, India. Congratulations, ISRO. And while the whole world watched this with bated breath, it is indeed, indeed a sunshine moment for India. Thank you, Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, for making this happen by opening up new vistas for India's space sector and telling us that sky is not the limit. Thanks also, Honorable PM, for giving us the confidence, the courage, and the conviction to reach out to the stars and to discover the mysteries of universe beyond. And thanks also for making us realize the enormous potential of our space fraternity. Ladies and gentlemen, Indian scientists had been working, toiling day and night for years and years together, but now, now comes the moment of vindication, the moment of redeeming the pledge to the nation. And coming close on the heels of successful Chandrayaan-3 landing, the successful launch of Aditya L1 is also a testimony to the whole of science and a whole of nation approach with which we have sought to adopt in our work culture. While ISRO is credited in executing this mission, the science institutes across the country have come forward to contribute in one form or the other, in small measure or big, to this mission. To name a few, the Indian Institute of Astrophysics, Bengaluru, the National Aerospace Laboratories, the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, Mumbai, the Nijri, NGRI, Nagpur, the IIT, Khadakpur, IIT, Madras, IIT, Delhi, IIT, Mumbai, and the list is too long. But that, having said that, gives me the confidence to say that this day, the 2nd of September, 2023 is a day of reckoning when we move on into the next 25 years of Amrit Kal and Mother India pledges with the collective will and collective effort of our 140 crore children to reach and occupy the place of pride on the world pedestal. Congratulations once again, Chairman Somanath, the entire ISRO team and the entire countrymen. Uh, may I request uh, the project director of Aditya L1, Nigar Shaji, to s say a few words. Good afternoon. It's a dream come true for uh, team Aditya L1. And I'm extremely happy that Aditya L1 is uh, injected into the intended orbit flawlessly by PSLV as always. And Aditya L1 solar panels are deployed. And this is to be normal. And Aditya L1 has started its 125 days of long journey towards L1. We have uh, our earth burns to rise the orbit and, that, and followed by the trans L1 injection and finally insertion into the halo orbit in the sun earth Lagrangian point L1. Once the Aditya is commissioned, it will be an asset to the heliophysis of the country and even to the global scientific fraternity. And I take this opportunity to thank Chairman Isro, uh, Director URSC, former Director URSC, and all the center directors 
for their support and guidance for making this mission possible. And my thanks are due to my project team and all the project executives across the center, payload teams, especially the teams from the IAA and IUCA for the relentless effort in building the payload as well as the spacecraft. And my, spe my special thanks to the expert committee who have been guiding all through the entire project life cycle. And I thank all the industrial partners and the entire URSC team for uh, their invaluable contribution. And I feel really honored and privileged to be part of this mission. And at this juncture, I like to remember, I would like to remember Professor U.R. Rao, who sowed the seed for this uh, mission and looking forward for a successful Halo Orbiting session and for the science, great science output from the Aditya L1 mission. Thank you. Thank you all. Uh, Sri Biju, the mission director and the project director of PSLV. Good afternoon to all. My big salute to all of you for achieving this wonderful mission of Aditya. We have injected Aditya in its intermediate orbit, PSLV in its uh, 59th mission has successfully accomplished uh, injecting Aditya L1 in its intermediate orbit. It's all because of the dedicated effort of all of you. Uh, the challenging requirements given by satellite team was in need very, um, uh, in, in, in it, it was very challenging to meet the orbital requirements. We have given, gone for a new mission design strategy. We have gone through an, numerous simulations to validate this, and that is the proof that you are having now. I take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for achieving this wonderful mission. I take this opportunity to thank all my review forums, chairman and members of all review forums, and our industry partners for giving high reliable systems to, uh, for PSLV and all our family members. With this, our capability of PSLV has increased manifold to uh, venture into new missions, to new and challenging missions. I take this opportunity to thank my project team led by our Sri MJ Lal as well as uh, uh, Damodaran, Vehicle Director and Associate Vehicle Director in leading the entire campaign. I wish our um, satellite team an excellent, excellent time ahead for completing all the operations and completing all scientific objects, uh, objectives they have envisaged. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, everybody, for spending your time watching this mission uh, and also supporting us and congratulating us. And we joined the entire country. Uh, we are very proud of the fact that we could do this mission, uh, Aditya L1 mission, just following the Chandrayaan 3 uh, activities. And, uh, and all of you are aware that the lander and the rover are still functioning. And our team is uh, with the scientific instruments doing a lot of work now. And the good news is that the rover has moved almost 100 meters from uh, the lander and uh, we are going to start the process of uh, making the both of them sleep in the coming one or two days because uh, it has to withstand the night. So until we see, hear about them later, so I would like to say big thanks to each one of you for the support and encouragement and blessings that you are giving to us for continuing the work uh, of uh, building the very strong space infrastructure and capability for India and which will be becoming the, one of the strong pillars of science and technology for this nation. And thank you so much for, once, for the contributions once again, and wish you all the best for meeting you until for next mission from Sadhya Space Center. Thank you. <laughs>